<laughs> the truth of the matter is nothing has changed because the positions that are being occupied by ODM before or subsequent to new nominees being uh, you know, processed to be members of the cabinet, they are the same positions which were occupied by ODM within the Azimio coalition. The seats that were retained for the other political parties within the coalition, including WIPA, including Jubilee, those have remained uh, intact and there has been no change whatsoever. ODM has made it clear that uh, there is no coalition between ODM and uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. It is uh, individual members who have opted on account of being nominated to be members of the, ca of the uh, cabinet to take those positions. So ODM as part of the coalition remains a part of the minority party within the, co uh, within the National Assembly and in the Senate. One must always remember that within the coalition, ODM ha is by far uh, the largest party. It has got the largest stake uh, within the opposition coalition, within the uh, National Assembly and the Senate. Now, if you look at the rules of uh, the National Assembly, the standing orders, and those of the Senate, nomination in terms of seats on both sides of the House depends on the size of the political party. So within the coalition, whether in Kenya Kwanzaa or in, uh, uh, in Azimio, the same rules apply as lawyers who say mutatis mutandis. What is applied within the National Assembly and the Senate prevail upon the manner in which individual members of uh, parties which belong to a coalition are given seats within the coalition. For example, we have also got members of the Azimio who are not parliamentary parties. Obviously, they cannot be given a slot within the leadership of the coalition, that is Azimio coalition, within parliament.